to improve your brain remembering capacity as well as I am going to fire your brain. Listening, your, whatever you are listening is a little bit weird, right? Let me tell you the explanation of this, that is firing a brain. See, as you know, our nervous system consists of um, millions of neurons in it. All these neurons are making us to remember, think, as well as to memorize. All these activities are uh, done by our nervous system. As you all know, our nervous system has two hemispheres. <coughs> that is, right hemisphere as well as the left hemisphere. As you all know, right hemisphere controls the left part of the body and the left hemisphere controls the right part of the body. As well as, in addition to that, right hemisphere is very famous for its creativity. It means if you are doing any creative work, it means you are using your right part of the brain. As well as, if you are using any, if you are doing any logical thinking or any logic related activity, you are using your left part of the brain. So children, I want to tell you that right hemisphere and uh, left hemisphere, wherever they will meet, that particular meeting point is known as a carpus colasm. This is carpus colasm. And if you can see this, right. What is meant by corpus callosum? This is a junction where right hemisphere of the brain and left hemisphere of the brain just coincide. I mean, they'll meet at this point. At this point, some millions of neurons will be working together and they'll be doing the activities what they are meant for. As you all know, the nervous system consists of central nervous system. Never, nothing but, nervous system is nothing but brain, a brain, the divisions, Apart the spinal cord as well as nerves, right? See, this all together are connected to the brain and they are making us to sense everything, right? So, let us see what is meant by corpus callosum. Corpus callosum is a bundle of nerve fibers that allow our brains, left and right hemisphere, to communicate it. It plays a role in how you think, remember, and coordinate your movements. Conditions present at birth and acquired conditions may affect the development and functions of this particular part. And this you can see, this is how our neurons look like and this is the part of actually the brain looks like. And now, how can I relate this particular thing with you children? Just I want to show, ask you and I want to do you, just take your right hand <coughs> and start moving it from forward to backward. It's an easy task for you, right? Very easy. Just now stop it. And now take the left hand and start moving it from backward to forward. It's a very easy task, right children? And now stop here. And now what I'm going to ask you is take your right hand as well as your left hand and now what we are supposed to do is if you have to move it from forward to backward, at the same time simultaneously you have to move it from backward to forward. See, while you are performing this activity, automatically you are igniting your neurons and you are firing your neurons with fraction of seconds. When this happens, obviously you will get alert and you will get active for more than 1 hour to 2 hours. While you do, while you get bored of doing any activities, while writing or while doing, while studying, Please go with this activity such that you can activate your uh, corpus callosum as well as your neurons and you can perform well for a few hours together. Right? And uh, hope I I hope you find this video useful. If you find if you feel this video is useful, please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in Galata with science. And if you have not subscribed till Please subscribe it. And I want to make a thought for the day today. Meaningless, rather than doing meaningless words, a meaningful silence is much better. It means, if you are silent for some time, if it stops at quarrel, it's better to stop. And uh, by this I am signing off. Imran, take care. Allah peace.